Hello everyone, I am Gobo and today I am going to talk a little bit about Virtual Desktop, an Oculus app that allows you to play wirelessly over the internet using uh, PC VR games. I've used it myself with great success and uh, I'm now going to show you how. Let's go over to the desktop. To use Virtual Desktop you will need several things. You will need the app itself and there are two versions of it. You can buy one on the Quest Store which is the one you want and there is also an app on Steam which does not help you in any way so leave that alone. You also need a few extra things. You will need to have your Oculus Quest or Quest 2 side uh, loaded. That means uh, you have to uh, log into SideQuest and connect your headset. And uh, then you will need to install this app, Virtual Desk VR Patch. You just plug your uh, headset into the phone, uh, into the computer, using a uh, USB-C type connection and then click headset and then click install to headset another thing you need is this app you go to vrdesktop.net i will link uh, put a link to the description and download a streamer app the streamer app will uh, is what will uh, stream the contents from your uh, computer over to your headset and it will look something like this when you uh, first use it, you will need to log in using your Oculus Quest ID. And these are the settings I use. I have uh, found the uh, best and most efficient uh, settings. Use the H2 settings. And I uh, activate everything except automatically bitrate and lock computer on disconnect. The third thing you need is a router. I am currently using uh, this router. It works quite fine for me. And I uh, used a 5 gig uh, band that allows me to gain uh, a rather decent uh, connection. Let's dive into the app itself and see how, to, uh, see how we can use it. Once in your headset, head over to Virtual Desktop and start it up. and it will connect by itself. On the left controller, press the menu button and you will be taken back into uh, this screen, the menu screen. Here you can see how I'm connected and uh, at what speed. You can also choose different environments if you prefer that, but uh, I like this uh, computer room. Let's take a look at the settings. This is what I use auto connect and use optimal resolution. I have environment quality set to medium that doesn't really affect the game, just the looks around you. And frame rate set to 90. I've cranked the bit, the bit, up, uh, bit rate up to maximum. I've always enabled dynamic lighting, didn't mess anything about with anything about the audio, and I've uh, hooked off increased color vibrance. In the streaming app, I've set VR graphics to high and 90 degrees, cranked up VR bitrate to max, and uh, added uh, sliced encoding. I think this is on by default, as well as buffering and increased color vibrance. Now, if you press games, it will take a few seconds to load up. Sometimes a little more than a few seconds if you have a large game li library. Here we are with the game settings. First you will see all your Oculus games and uh, apps. And below that it will list all the unofficial games, which basically means all your uh, Steam games. You can press to just launch the game or if you prefer you can launch Steam VR itself which will let you access uh, the Steam VR settings 
and here we go. Press the left button to open and close this window. And from here you can launch any Steam game that you like, that you have in your library. Now, in almost all games I've played has been uh, working perfectly. There's only two games that have given me uh, some kind of uh, problem. The first is Microsoft Flight Simulator and the second is Euro Truck Simulator 2 an American Truck Simulator, but that's basically the same game. Let's just take a little uh, look at how to uh, use this. Uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator lets you uh, start from the Steam settings here. And I have to manually close this menu by pressing the left button, left menu button. Okay, now the game has finally loaded up in the flight sim, but nothing is happening in the headset. On your keyboard, you need to press Control Tab, and then press the space bar to recenter your vision. And everything works here. Just be aware, be aware that uh, while VR works in uh, Microsoft Flight Sim, you have to use your mouse to control the pointer here. The con uh, controllers does not work. They are not supported in the game, or at least not yet. And as you can see, everything works fine here. Just be aware that uh, you have to start the game from uh, Steam VR and not from the virtual desktop games list or uh, the desktop itself. I've only had uh, trouble getting that to work. Okay, this is not going too well. But that's not the point of this uh, ex exercise anyway. But as you can see, the game is flowing just fine on low settings, and I have a full VR capability. So, let's head out of this game. As I mentioned a little bit earlier in the video, the other game that I have had trouble getting to work with Virtual Desktop was American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator. The method is uh, the same for both of them, and here, I, here I'll show how you get it up and running. First, you will need to find, locate it, uh, the game in uh, your uh, games library. Right-click and go into the properties. Here you must unhook the Use Desktop Theater while SteamVR is active. If this is uh, on, you will only see a large screen floating in front of you, no actual VR. And here is what had me stumped for a long time. When using an Oculus Rift, which I was used to, you had to add in dash Oculus here in this launch option. But Virtual Desktop is uh, using... Uh, another uh, kind of uh, encryption to uh, connect to the games. So you have to write dash open VR instead. This is critical. Also, you need to go into the betas and select the newest version. For now, that is Oculus, Oculus slash Vive 1.39, parenthesis SDK 1.4.0. Now, to get this to work, you have to open up a virtual desktop and launch Steam VR. But you do not open the game in Steam VR. You look and you look at the screen and press play here. Play. And you will get an get a warning saying that uh, you do not have VR access. Just press OK and ignore it, and the game should start. I did not get that warning here, because uh, I had uh, not opened the game in Virtual Desktop right now. But that's it. Okay, and that is how I use Virtual Desktop. I find it a really simple and easy solution, and uh, in most cases I tend to get a lot better performance than using an Oculus Link cable. 
just as a disclaimer, I have the official Oculus Link cable and it is connected directly into my computer using a USB-C input that's 3.1 uh, capable. So it should be able to work better, but uh, instead I have much better performance using virtual desktop. So now you can go out and uh, play games like uh, Asgard's Wrath, which uh, you probably already have uh, access to if you uh, made an Oculus account in the last few weeks. And uh, all the perfect and uh, brilliant games like VTOL VR and many, many more. Perhaps even Half-Life Alex or Boneworks. But until next time, goodbye. I've been Gobo and please like and subscribe. See you later.